How we doing everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Mash and Drum Whiskey Room. I am Jason C. I really hope you enjoyed the dramatic introduction. If it's your first time here, welcome. And today we have a really cool episode. We're going to be tasting Johnny Walker's new bottle called White Walker, inspired by the TV show Game of Thrones, which is one of my favorite shows. And you know the, the moniker for the show is Winter is Coming. So actually, Winter is here. <laughs> and so is a brand new scotch. Uh, White Walker by Johnny Walker was created by whiskey specialist George Harper along with a small team of expert blenders at Johnny Walker. Included in the blend are single malts from Cardew and Kleinleash, the latter one being from the most northern distilleries in Scotland, or one of the most northern. White Walker is designed to be served directly from the freezer and the bottle features a temper sensitive ink technology. So when the bottle is frozen, it will display the graphic icy reveal, which I will show you guys. This bottling is a collaboration between HBO's Game of Thrones, as I mentioned, and Diageo's Johnny Walker, and has now started, uh, started to hit the shelves for an MSRP of about $40. So as you can see, the bottle is not here. So what I'm gonna do is try this first at room temperature, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run upstairs, take the bottle out of the freezer, bring it back down, and then taste it cold, since on the back of the label it actually says meant to be served chilled and out of the freezer. You'll also get to see how the bottle changes from that ink sensitive technology that uh, I just spoke about. So as you can see, we have a special guest here. The uh, Night King decided to uh, drop by and join us for this episode. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't attack me or throw an icy spear at me. So. <laughs> So let's get into the color first here, guys. So first we have a very, very light honey color, very light amber, not unlike a lot of the Johnny Walker blends that you see. So let's get into the nose. So while this is opening up a little bit, this is 41.7% uh, alcohol, and this is chill filtered. I'm sure it's distilled north of the wall. <laughs> you Game of Thrones fans will know what that is. So the nose is actually very, very sweet. It's got a very sweet um, caramel. To, it's got a very, very faint spice to it. It's a little bit... It's got a little fruit to it. Some Definitely some orange zest and, or maybe lemon zest in there. It's please. It's a you know. It's a pleasing nose. I mean, the alcohol isn't really blowing you away. You can really get in there and smell some nose. It's it's very super sweet on the nose. Those sugars, sugar, sweet caramel, vanilla. You're getting a, a a little bit of oak on there, but it's very sweet, very fruit forward. Oh, I mean, I'm starting to get a little bit darker fruits now, but. You know, generally pretty sweet on the nose. So, so again, this is the room temperature version. So uh, let's let's get a taste. Cheers, everybody! Happy Friday. Just like the nose, it's the same on the palate. It is very sweet. It's vanilla. It's honey. You get a little bit of oak on there. There is a little bit of a spice kick on it, but nothing overwhelming. All right, let's go in for that second sip. Yeah, so so the second sip, definitely better than the first sip. You're getting, you're getting a lot of vanilla, you're getting a lot of honey, but more than anything on this, I'm getting this really nice cherry and orange flavor to it. It's kind of like orange and cherries coated uh, with a little bit of honey. It's not super complex. The finish is short to medium, N nothing super long at all. It's very, it's, it's definitely on the sweeter side, but not overly sweet. It's not like a sherry bomb or anything like that, but it's got a nice flavor to it. It's, it's just a nice sweet scotch. And I think that's what it was really meant to be made for. So let's try a third sip here. All right, so the third sip, I'm getting a little bit more oak now on it. So you're getting some oak, you're getting that vanilla and caramel sweetness that I was getting on it. And then it's finishing nice into that short finish with the orange and the, um, 
the orange, lemon, and cherry type flavors. So it's good. It's a pleasing dram. It's nothing that's going to blow you away. But, you know, I think for Game of Thrones enthusiasts and people that just want a nice, sweet tasting, easy drinking scotch, this, uh, this definitely could fit the bill. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do now is I am going to run upstairs, grab the bottle from the freezer, and I'm gonna bring it back down, we're gonna pour uh, another glass, but we're gonna try it at that cold temperature, and we also get to see what happened to the bottle with that cool ink sensitive technology. So, let's go get it. Hey guys, so I have returned here with the Night King who helped me go get the bottle, as you saw. And now we have a definitely a different looking bottle here. So now it's revealed this darker blue pattern and on the side it says winter is here, which is pretty cool. I mean, is it gimmicky? Yeah, it is, but it's also kind of fun, especially if you're a Game of Thrones fan. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to take uh, this glass and while I'm pouring this now cold out of the freezer, I'll show you guys a little closer look at the bottle as I pour this. So now we're gonna taste it cold. Ooh, that is cold. <laughs> and, see, uh, and see how it tastes and see if I like it better either cold or room temp. So let's check the nose here on now the cold version. The nose hasn't changed much. It's uh, still a lot of the same notes I was getting. The, that caramelized sugar and the, the vanilla, the little bit of oak and some of those, the red berries and the orange zest is still coming through. But it hasn't gotten really softer or stronger. It does seem a little bit sweeter now on the nose though, since it's coming out of the freezer. So, all right, let's go in for a taste. This is now the frozen version. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Mmm. Yeah, it was actually pretty good cold. I gotta say. You know what's weird? The the al I tasted the alcohol more um, when it came out cold rather than I did uh, when it was neat. So that was that's interesting. Not that it was not. It's not giving me a longer finish. The finish is still super short to medium, but I taste a little bit more alcohol on the palate. Let's go in for another sip here. Yeah, so I think when you when you freeze it, I think you, you lose a little bit of the nuance there with the tasting the cherries and the orange in there. You do get it a little bit more, um, but it's mainly just that super sweet caramel, vanilla, oak, uh, sugar flavor that you were getting uh, in here as well. But it's a little bit more subdued with the notes on the cherry and the and the orange that I was getting when it was warmer. So. I think for me personally, I like it better room temp, but it's not terrible um, chilled either. You know, it's pretty cool. I think some people will definitely enjoy it chilled as well. Yeah, it's getting a little sweeter the more I sip on it chilled, but I still maintain that you get a little bit more of a flavor more of a flavor punch from it being at room temp. So, uh, I think he's getting mad, he's been hiding there. So, <laughs> so I, think, uh, I think it's actually not a bad bottle of scotch. It's, it's not gonna be anything for super hardcore scotch drinkers who really like complexity and, and like deep dark fruits and like, you know, like an Isla smoke and stuff like that. It's, this is a very easy sipper. It's great for what it is, I think. It's an MSRP of $40, so is it worth it? I don't know, I think I'll leave that up to you guys. I don't mind it. I think uh, being a big Game of Thrones fan, it's kind of fun to have the bottle. And yes, the ink is a little bit gimmicky and, and how it changes different colors and reveals on the side, winter is here. It, it's pretty cool, but as an actual scotch, 
I think this could be actually something as a good gateway for someone to get into Scotch, especially if they're a big Game of Thrones fan. Um, you could be watching the show and if they say, oh, I don't like Scotch, I'm like, well, here, have you tried this? This is a Game of Thrones Scotch. You kind of put this in front of them. It's very sweet. It's very pleasing. Like I said, it's not super alcohol forward at all. It's a nice, easy sipper. And uh, it's, it's really not that bad. I'm, I'm kind of enjoying it. It's, it's a nice, sweet dram. Hey guys, well thanks for stopping by the Master and Joan Whiskey Room. I hope you had fun watching this episode. I enjoyed filming it. It was a lot of fun. Um, if you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button down on the bottom. Uh, also hit the like button. If you're on Instagram, you can find me there as well. I love talking with everybody. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this whiskey if you've had it. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey, it's the people you share it with. Cheers everyone. Winter is coming. Don't make the Night King mad. Cheers.